Research at the Lancaster Agricultural Research Station. We're visiting today with Aaron Crook, Station Superintendent, University of Wisconsin in the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon. Aaron, can you give us a quick overview of what the station does? Sure. We do agronomic and beef cattle research for the University of Wisconsin, and we're located in the southwest corner of the state in the Driftless region. So all of our research pertains to carefully managing the soils and hilly terrain in southwest Wisconsin. And Maybe you could give us an example of the kind of beef research that goes on here. Right now, one of our projects that we do is with rotational grazing of pastures and beef cattle and feeding them different supplements to see how they can improve their gain while grazing on the pasture. And can you tell us what you've learned from those trials? This particular trial looks at the different mineral contents within the supplements, and we found that supplementing the cattle does increase their average daily gain, so they're able to grow faster. And as of yet, we haven't been able to determine which mineral combinations are best suited for the high gains while the cattle are grazing the pastures. And you have agronomic research here as well. Could you describe that for us? We do a variety of different research projects on the agronomy side, uh, working with corn, soybeans, alfalfa, small grains, and a variety of other experimental type crops, especially in the forage areas. One of our most noteworthy projects that we've worked on with a long time is a crop rotation study that's been going on for over 40 years, and it's one of the oldest ones in the United States. And that project looks at the benefits of rotating different crops and how it helps in fertility and in crop production. And maybe you could give us a recap of what rotational cropping is. Sure. Instead of necessarily growing corn after corn after corn or all alfalfa or a single crop, it's a growing a series of crops in rotation. So alternating between corn and soybeans or alfalfa for two or three years and then corn and soybeans and back to alfalfa. The different combinations helps not only the soil, but it also helps break up patterns of insects and other pests and diseases to allow the crops to grow better when they're not growing continuously year after year. Aaron, can you describe perhaps some of the things, the differences you've seen in the rotational study? Some of the corn we found that's a very highly invaluable crop that's grown in Wisconsin. When it follows alfalfa or even soybeans, we found through the years that you're able to get a higher yield with actually less additional fertilizer. And Aaron, maybe I can get you to paint a little picture of the station. The station is 530 acres total. Of that, we have about 220 acres of crop ground that we work, as I said, and we grow corn, soybeans, alfalfa, oats, winter wheat, and other small grains as well some additional grasses and other alternative forages um, on an experimental basis. And the cattle herd that we have is 120 Angus-based beef cows, Angus breed beef cows, that calve in April, May, and June. And in addition to the beef cows, we also have an additional 50 to 60 growing animals that we use for rotational grazing projects and other activities. Lancaster Station is a little bit unique that it's the only research station for any university that's located in the Driftless region. So actually we have interest from farmers and people in the whole Driftless region, which is included in along the Mississippi River in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Iowa. We've been visiting with Aaron Crooks, Superintendent, Lancaster Agricultural Research Station, University of Wisconsin in the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm C.V. Kenyon.